Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes, happy holidays everybody, hope you're having a good time. We have the return of Galactic Challenges and guess what, it's another fleet one. So usually the fleet one is uh, use malevolence plus free ships that are required and you should be good to go. So that's what I'll do today. As always, I'll quickly go through the modifiers and defeats first. So just want to skip through to battle. There'll be YouTube chapters below as always. But otherwise, let's just get started. So for Hoth, we've got Asteroid Bell Belt Global Modifier. So at the end of every turn, all units are inflicted with damage over time, which can't be resisted, but it can be cleansed. So this will little bit help out, especially with Malevolence and their, uh, the Hyena Bomber. You've got a little bit of cleansing going on. Moving on, we've got Advanced Targeting Computers. So at the start of each support's uh, turn, inflict Target Lock. And then whenever a target locked enemy is attacked, you have some chance to call somebody for assist. And these assists will come handy when it comes to defeats. In terms of the modifier, Imperial Navy, uh, the modifier for Empire is not all that great. You get some stacking offense and things like that. But yeah, nothing too crazy here. Uh, unlike for Rebels, that they do get the odds modifier where they have a chance to attack again. So they'll be getting a lot of attacks on top of obviously Falcon's assist and everything. So definitely Rebels modifier is a lot better here. Uh, so in terms of defeats, you have to win while using three Empire ships. I will validate that, that it's not like five sometimes. Uh, and then you obviously have to win after attacking out of turn 10 or more times. And then complete the battle after gaining taunt three times. As if you've been following my video, you will probably know that Malevolence is kind of a uh, jack of all trades. Like for all these fleet challenges, you've got attacks out of turn uh, easily. You've got taunts, pretty much everything you need. So that's what I'll be going with. Obviously, you can use any sort of fleet commander you like. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, others can get it done. It's just because of attacks out of turn and a little bit of cleansing that Malevolence brings. Hopefully, it will help us out here. Uh, in terms of the pilots themselves, uh, also you do have Relic 7 on Grievous. Um, I do have actually Relic 3 on Sunfag, but probably you don't need them Relic, should be good enough. Uh, same thing then uh, for Spy, he's Relic, don't really need him Relic, and all the other ships as well. Um, so probably even with lower gear you can get it done, but obviously I have no way to validate because I can't remove gear from my unit. Uh, so I'll just run with this, the standard kind of uh, Separatist Malevolence lineup here. With spies, the reinforcement, you know, for extra assists when he comes in. And then we need three Empire ships, so I just put these guys in and let's hop in the battle and see how this one uh, will go. Um, obviously, with these assists, normally you have to like stall the battle to get the assists, and then damage over time can eat you while you're doing this. That's why Malevolence is great. You can a little bit keep cleansing them off, Vulture Droids keep respawning. And you get a lot of attacks out of turn very quickly. Let's get a stun over on uh, Y Wing over there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Vulture Droid number one already down. Another one summons in its place. Let's go ahead and clean up this damage over time. And I'm going to go ahead and spread those buzzes so we can get more assists going now. Okay, I'll just keep going after Y Wing because it'll be constantly taunting anyway. So we'll just have to go through it. Let's put buzzes over there. And just keep going, keep those assists coming. Come on, boys, let's go. All right, they've got reinforcement number one. Time's gone, sun fact. That's okay, he did his job. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring in Spy. I don't want him big this taunting, so we'll have to target him and put a taunt over there. Um, I almost have a feeling it's a waste going after Falcon. There might be a lot of dodging, so let's just see if we can blow up bigs here. Uh, not quite, um, but you know, we did get a few assists in here. There we go. Biggs is down for the count, and that's it. Yeah, keep keep attacking those vulture droids. That's very good. All right. Um, okay, so Falcon's in hiding, so we have to keep going after Phantom. Oh boy. Okay. Keep going. Uh, let's cleanse a little bit. There we go. That's why this uh, basic on Hyena's bomber that's cleansing your weakest separatist ship comes in handy because now it cleanses itself after having, you know, what was it, 10 or 11 damage over time. So definitely very helpful there. I'm going to bring in another tank because, you know, Hyena Bomber might uh, die off in a moment. Uh, plus, obviously, TIE Bomber, he will put burning on those guys uh, and Rebels won't be able to attack out of turn now that they are burning. Well, let's get more buzzes here to get more assist. Perfect. Now let's see what I've got for us. Okay, they're bringing in Ghost. All right, my spy is not looking too good. Let's see if we can get a cleanse in there. Um, yeah, let's get a cleanse actually. 
Okay, come on, give me a big hit. Almost got him. Uh, let's go ahead and clean up Spy here. Uh, so you can see that Malevolence is very good with all those cleansing and assists. Let's reapply burning on these guys. Okay, alright. What they've got for us? Nothing crazy. Lost Hyena Bomber, lost another Vulture Droids. Um, do you know what? Let's just go ahead. Fire the Iron Cannon and hopefully we can clean this up quickly. There we go. Oops. Everybody dying left and right here. <laughs> Falcon there died, died from damage over time as well. And there you go guys, that's why I think that Malevolence here should be an easy one. Uh, we got three Empire ships, so it is only three, not five, just to confirm that. And in terms of the other feats, obviously we gained taunt plenty of times. And as well, we got a lot of attacks out of turn, either with the help of the global modifier a little bit, but mostly obviously because of the buzz droids. Okay, so as you can see, Malevolence works really well. Uh, probably for those of you that do have Executor, you can do this as well, um, because Executor obviously we got lots of cleansing on there and also some attacks out of turn, so it shouldn't be too difficult uh, to get this done as well, I think. Uh, in terms of the starting lineup, uh, maybe we'll just bring in IG to begin with, uh, just so I can bring in Xanadu Blood as the reinforcement, and then get that retribution on uh, Houndstooth. Um, so then we need, obviously, again, three Empire ships. Uh, so let's hop in the battle. All right, so here we go. All right, uh, okay, starting off with an AoE, a bit odd, but I will take it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get a taunt up. All right, and I'll just go ahead and do here a mass assist. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get a stun so we can cleanse off. Well, I didn't get a stun, I did get a bridge though. So I get a couple of more attacks out of turn. There we go, Bix is down for the count. Okay, let's see what else they got for us here. Okay, we'll keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, IG, hang in there, buddy. Here we go. So I'm going to bring in now Zanandu Blood so we get retribution our guys. And let's call assists again. One hit. There we go. So as you can see with um, Executor, you get lots of attacks out of turn as well. So it shouldn't be an issue as well to get that done, I think. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and finish off the wiring there. There we go. Contract already triggered. Uh, let's see if we can get cleanse over there. Perfect. Let's go ahead heal up IG. So as you can see, lots of cleansing here um, because of Razor Crest Unique. Whenever we land the bridge, we'll be cleansing. So very, very nice there. So you can see as well with Executor. Not sure did I get uh, enough attacks out of turn. I'm pretty sure I did. Obviously, without feet tracker, there's no way of knowing. But as you can see, guys, pretty easy challenge as always with these fleets. Um, just use Malevolence or Executor or probably any other ship as well will work. As long as you have some sort of way of cleansing those damage over time, uh, you should be good to go. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Hopefully it was useful and helpful, showing you how I got max reward with Malevolence and then an optional one battle there as well with Executor. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy life and may the RNG be with you my friends.